Hey everyone, there's a new OBS plugin out that's going to make managing your stream audio so much easier. Instead of just having one source for your desktop, you're able to separate every single application out. There's no additional audio drivers like voice meter. Very, very simple to set up. It just uses the built-in Windows API and we're gonna get that set up right now. Okay, so first we're gonna go to the link in the description. You're gonna see October 31st, uh, for example, is the newest one. There might be a newer one by the time they're watching this video, but you're gonna go to assets. And then there's gonna be a zip file and a setup.exe. You can choose what you want. If you've installed a plugin before, you probably already know this, but go ahead and download the exe. And once you run it, it's going to ask you for your OBS install directory. Just make sure that that's correct. Do next, 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 and you're basically done with it. Also, do not have OBS running at this time. Okay, now we got the plugin installed, so we're gonna go ahead and open up OBS. You're gonna wanna make a new scene. In this example, I'm using my alert screen, and this scene is just on every single one of my scenes that I have. And uh, just for example here, we're gonna wanna go to add, and let's say we'll do Discord first. You'll see a new thing here, it's output capture, the very, very top. Go ahead and select that, and we're just gonna call this Discord. Hit OK, and then this is gonna look very, very familiar to you um, because of display and game capture. We wanna capture a specific window, which is gonna be the application that we want. Go down to Discord here, and just leave this match title so that we know that it's gonna go for either the title or the actual EXE. Hit OK, and um, we're done, it's there. Um, now what you can do is you can just put this up and down and you're no longer going to have the desktop audio source. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that is actually disabled, otherwise you're gonna have duplicate audio. So go to settings, go over to audio, and basically have all of this disabled. You can have your microphone enabled here. Um, I just route my microphone a little bit different, so I have that disabled. Go ahead and hit OK, and then for everything that you use that you want audio, you're gonna need to add it here. But you might say, how am I gonna do my alerts? Those are through a browser source. I actually find it the easiest way is to just go here, add another one. We're gonna call this alerts, sorry. And for this, we're actually just gonna capture OBS. Um, right here I have untitled, this is the instance that I wanna capture. Match that, uh, hit okay to that. And then now we're actually listening for audio alerts in OBS. So I can come over and replay an alert here. This person followed my channel and you see that sound is coming through. So that should get you for all of your sound alerts. And uh, so basically all your browser sources. I believe you can still do this individually. Um, so if I were to go to, I guess my bit alerts and scroll down here, I believe control audio via OBS, you can click this and that will also work for you. But I just found that adding OBS as a source works just fine. But now you have separate audio for everything. Obviously, this is incredibly advantageous because you don't have someone screaming over Discord. And if you actually want to go ahead and throw Discord on a separate audio track, you can set it up so that when you're recording, that separate audio track doesn't include the Discord voices. So you have a nice, clean capture of your gameplay for something like YouTube. But that's really about it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to get to them in the comments section. And yeah, you know, I do stream on Twitch. I'm a music streamer. So if you want to go check that out, uh, link in the description as well. Hit the subscribe button and all that cool stuff. And I have a couple other ways that I'm using this that, again, is extremely advantageous. So if you want to see more stuff like that, cool features that you can do with OBS. I'd love to make some more videos, but you gotta let me know by hitting the like button or dislike button. Okay, take care.